So the biggest thing is to ensure that our, our culture doesn't die. If we look um, inside Te Haka, there are so many facets that can help develop our people to re-engage them back into our reo, back into our mātauranga Māori. But the biggest thing is that this is what makes us unique in comparison to the world. You know, and we, we need to ensure that our, our students can understand that, that we do have a worth in this world. Waku Whakaro is that um, Kapahaka is a vehicle to help uplift Māori because we're in a world that is highly negative that for us to be who we are and to understand our identity and where we come from, Te Haka is a great vehicle to, to help us in that direction. So what it's like having my whānau involved in Kapa Haka means a lot to me, you know, having different teachings from my, my aunties and uncles, you know, whether it be my father as well, uh, as he teaches me a lot of the practical mōrāko, patu movements, even to wai wai, things like that. And then going to his older brother, Kimura, uh, and he can teach me the theory on, you know, rangi and papa, the different styles of te ao haka. And then going to my auntie who can teach me the different ways of singing, whether it be singing high, singing low, singing in between, and how to find that voice. And then also going to their youngest, their Portuguese, Te Kawirangi, and he can teach me how to play the different instruments, guitaring, learning different chords, also learning piano as well. So with my whānau very, being very diverse in Irotoi Te Ao Haka and also in music as well. So it's really, it's really helped me a lot through my life. Ka pū ki ngā tipu ki roto i au, i tu wā ka putau ki Te Ao Haka. Ko te kaha o te reo, ko te clarity me ki o te reo, kia rere tika i ngā kupu ki te ki ngā manuhiri. I actually haven't been on the Super 8 stage before. It's going to be my first time, but we'll see what happens. Yeah.